Good morning, and welcome to St. John's. I would like to take this time to invite everybody to stop in Father Jacob's Hall after Mass uh, and purchase a taco. Uh, you get, I believe, three tacos, beans and rice, um, and it definitely supports St. John's. If you don't want a taco, you can go over and donate. Sure would appreciate it. Thank you.
Good morning. morning. Welcome to the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our readings can be found today in page 336 in the Blue Hymn. Please join us in singing our opening hymn, number 706. Come ye thankful people come, number 706 in the Red Hymnal. Please stand. to the table of the Lord's Eucharist. He has invited us to come and eat. Thank you for coming for this meal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. When you go for dinner, luncheon, party, you clean up yourself and be in good state. And so to celebrate this Mass, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Sins 
of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. times go before us and follow after. Make us always determined to carry out good works to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face, the reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord My God. 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ, enlighten the eyes of our hearts, so that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time, he sent out servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet, my calves and fattened calf are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was angered, enraged, and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, burned their city. Then he said to the servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not ready to come. Go out therefore into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. And then the servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found bad and good alike. And the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. The king said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. A 
I want to believe that we who are lucky this morning to respond to the invitation to come are those who have been chosen. Glory be to God that you listened to his words and you responded. Well, let me remind you, friends, the decision to choose Jesus is not once and it is finished. Every day of your life, each moment, you have to keep choosing Jesus, preferring him to any other thing. Today we have been invited to come and eat. I love to eat. Good meal. Because food nourishes our body. Makes us good. Keeps us out of sickness. Provided we eat in moderation. It's good to eat good food. Not junk. It's good to eat healthy, tasty, spicy, a little habanero meals. And it keeps you bad. In the Holy Family, they give me a lot of habanero. I have boxes of hot sauce. There's one they give to me that's called, I think, Triple Devil. Very hot. But good food is good. The Lord wants us to eat of Him. When we eat of God, we become like God. When you eat healthy meals, you look healthy. Eat Jesus and be healthy. He invites us today to come and eat of him. In the first reading, on this mountain, what mountain is that? The mountain of God's presence. We can interpret Isaiah from two points. Because Isaiah talks of that mountain where the Lord will remove the morning veil, death will be swallowed up, there will be no more crying. That is the eschatology, the second coming of Christ when he will return to take us into glory as the judge of the living and the dead. We look forward to that second coming. But the kingdom of God is here now and in the not here. Because the kingdom we are in need already. And each day and every moment, the Lord invites us through our friends, the inter interactions we have, people in our neighborhood, in our family. That's God inviting us to meet with these people, to share his joy, his peace, his mercy, and his love. Now let's go to the gospel. Whenever Jesus begins to talk about the kingdom, he is drawing our attention to his father's house. That's where we belong. For the past five Sundays, he's been telling us parables about the kingdom. And Jesus is a master storyteller. He knows how to tell good stories that opens up our minds to the weighty message he has to share. That his king had a feast for his son, a wedding banquet, and invited everybody. Those who were invited a special guest of honor. They prove unworthy. One said, I'm busy, I'm going to my farm. Another said, I've got new business deal to strike. Some simply ignored him. Does that not speak to us today? People just choose to ignore God. The pews are empty. We find time for everything except for God. And so for you who finds time on a cool Sunday morning to come to God, I salute your faith and your courage. Thank you for being here. When we come to God, three things are required. We need humility. To know that God is everything and we are not. Number two, we need faith to connect. For the past few days, our Wi-Fi has not been working. Because at and somehow something is wrong, we can't connect. But thanks be to God this morning, we have connected. And we are streaming live. If you do not connect your faith into God, you are out of Wi-Fi. And then we need repentance. And that brings us to the gospel. The king in his anger brought in everybody. All are invited. God does not reject anyone. They all came in. But there was this guy who did not dress in the wedding garment that was provided. He came in and then the king asked him, Hey man, how did you get in here? He was not in the wedding garment. He's also got an attitude. 
He could have spoken up. I didn't see the wedding guy. He kept mute. He was reduced to silence. And he was sent out. We live at a time when the world hates Jesus. They reject the message. They kill messengers. They destroy them. But God continues to love us. St. Paul tells us today, he has learned to master everything. Good food or no good food. There are days I'm too tired to cook. I just take water and go to bed. So what's the secret to mastering good time and bad time? Contentment. Once you are contented, you will be no stress. Your life will be free. You will surrender to God. You live in perpetual joy and happiness. Once you are contented. Like you tell yourself, good times, it's okay. Bad times, it's okay. God answers my prayer, glory be to God. He chose not to answer, still glory be to God. It is well. We must day in and day out continue to pound it into our psyche, into our soul, like St. Paul said today, good food, no food, joy, so, I have learned to master all things. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, Paul says, I can do all things by God who gives me strength. And in verse 19, he says, My God will supply all your needs, not some, according to his riches in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Let us now profess our faith in the only God that saves. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not me. God's substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men of our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered dead and was buried, and was taken in accordance with his in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. And he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in many glory to God the living in the dead, and his kingdom will have the I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Lord of God, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. For we, the Father and the Son, are the glory of God. For he spoken to the prophet, I believe in the one holy God of God. I confess one baptism. And I look for the Lord of Brothers and sisters, the Lord has invited us to come and eat and to come and pray. Let us now pray. For the church, may the promptings of the Spirit lead us to constantly give thanks for the abundance God provides. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For those holding office and governments throughout the world, may the Lord steady his hand upon them as they serve and lead their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For those who are sick or suffering in any way, May the Lord's abundant love and care bring them peace and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this community of faith, may the light of God's love guide our every word and action. 
Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died in the light of Christ, may they be welcome to eternal rest and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the intention of this Mass, Danny Bader. Let us pray to the Lord. Of all the private intentions in our hearts, especially for those who hunger in the world and in need of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, turn to us in our need. You are the God of abundance. Satisfy us early through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join us in singing the offertory hymn number 737, Amazing Grace, number 737. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness 
we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We will to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty as salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of immortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels and the host adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with us in one chorus of exultant praise. Really gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather our people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to his setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son. Our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance into our elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist and St. John the Second and all the saints 
on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis Apo and Kelvin our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as for we the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. O Lord Jesus Christ, you say to our apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the peace of Christ. us to eat of him. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord.
just some information. We will have a second collection today for needs of the church. Thank you. Please join us in singing the communion hymn number 931. I am the bread of life, number 931.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Once again, thank you for coming to Mass. As the Lord invites you to eat of his body, we invite you to just slide into Jacob's Hall, or at Jacob's Hall, to have some tacos. Even if you don't like tacos, buy for me. And by that way, you are supporting our church. Thank you, Miriam, and all the ladies who helped to make our church very beautiful. And also you. You know, there are many silent people who make things work. They count, they pick up the collections, they count, they sing, they set up, they draw the beautiful fall. I came to the church this morning and said, wow, this looks good. Thank you. May God also beautify your lives. And those who are here for the first time, second time, third time, please come again. The Lord invites you each day. Finally, God always provides. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your lives. St. Michael. Please join us in singing our closing hymn, number 735. O oh God, our help in ages past, number 735.